up guys? This is my first vlog of 2024. I've done a lot of things already, but I just haven't vlogged because I don't feel like it. But besides that, yeah. today we are at Dorney Park for the media event for Iron Menace. So we're going to be the first people to ever ride the ride. So, so we just checked in. We got our lanyards here. We're official now, I guess. It's super fun. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. You can see the ride as you pull into the parking lot. It looks like a lot of fun. So there's the Iron Menace over there. Let's go on it. So uh, this is how excited I am to be at Media Day. Oh. There you go. I'm very excited. And for some reason, they have fog. Yeah, Theming. So the, their haunt is pretty good, actually. We're, do, we're, doing, we're doing that this year. We are doing this. Iron Man Night Rides? Yes. And they actually have like parts from the Bethlehem Steel Company out in this area, too. Like I heard they had that in the theming in the queue section, but like it's out in the regular park area, too. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah, this is really cool. I actually didn't know about this until like yesterday or something, but they just posted about this recently. This is really cool. I wonder if they're going to like eventually like retheme this and repaint it to fit this area more. It'd be kind of cool if they did. While you're at it, please bring back the holding brake. So we are in uh, the new gift shop now, and the merch here is really cool. Is yeah, I like a lot of this merch, and they have most of the stuff Iron Menace here, then like these posters from everything else here. It looks really cool. So apparently there is a backstory behind Iron Menace. I don't feel like reading this off to you right now, so Ryan for post, make this dramatic. In the early 1900s, businessman Hiram S. McTavish opened McTavish Steel Mill, a direct competitor to many local steel companies. With an eye on maximizing output Putting profits above people, McTavish created massive rail transporter. He dubbed Iron Menace, which moved workers and ore at dizzying speeds. After the greedy steel baron's sudden disappearance, the McTavish steel mill closed. All that remains today are the mills to crumpet shell, rusty rocks, and wild rides of the old rail transporter. <laughs> This is amazing, amazing. I just want to say how blessed I feel to be up here, how blessed our Dorney Park team feels. Thank you all so much for being with us here at Dorney Park in Wildwater Kingdom. We're thrilled that you're here for this extraordinary day in the park's history, which is 140 years. So thank you for being here, seriously, we appreciate it. We are now gonna watch as Iron Menace makes its first 160 foot climb. Woo! Our first ride on Iron Menace, we did it in the back row. That was great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good ride. Glass smooth, except for the end going into the break run, there's a little bit of a jolt. It needs to break, break in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's got to break a little bit. But other than that, perfect fun ride. Perfect, it's perfect a, ride. I like it. Definitely a great ride. Great addition for this park. Oh, absolutely. So um, let's do it a few more times. We'll try to get in the uh, front row, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see what happens. It's almost the station way. Alright, 
we got a few more rides on it. We got a front row ride and an additional back row ride. Oh my ride. god, the front is so good. This is definitely a front row ride. Amazing. By far. This thing is awesome. The positives are very surprising on this, especially in the first valley after the first drop, and then um, after the Immelman. Every valley is yeah, super every intense. Valley. The incline loop is amazing. Mm -hmm. Zero G roll is amazing. There's actually like a lot of whip on that zero G roll, which mm -hmm. I wasn't Especially if you're in the front, you get yeah. like thrown into it because it crests so at the very top. We're gonna ride it some more, but uh, they got some free food, so um, food, food. Oh yeah, what's that? I don't know, but it's just like funnel cake, and it's really good. So they're giving us free food from the new restaurant here. Look at that close up, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they have like chicken, chicken wontons, um, funnel cake shrimp, which is really good, and um, panini brisket. I've already ate all this stuff, but I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. This stuff is all fantastic. It's not a mukbanger, don't listen. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, gonna show you, I'm not gonna actually show you eating this. I think the wonton is my favorite one, but I will definitely be back for plenty more of these. And Dippin' Dots, too. It's like oh, some Oreo related? Oreo and orange. There's your mukbang segment for the video. There you go. These are great. Oh yeah, close up. Um, Alright, so part of the media event, they are letting us do a walkthrough of the new haunt maze, which is called Ghost in the Machine. A few inches later. Alright, so they didn't let us film inside of the maze, but holy sh**. But even. There were no scare actors in it. There was no it. actors in it, and it still horrified us. Yeah, that was amazing. There were animatronics in there, and, and other like time jump scares that were really good. It and was it's so good. The detail and the theming and the story is all really good to it. I did not expect it to actually scare me as much as it did. Like, yeah, like the was, first jump scare like really caught me the off guard. The animatronics in it were ridiculous. Ridiculous. I can't imagine like, how good this is going to be with actors in it. It's amazing. Even without it, we gotta, like, we're coming to haunt this. Oh, year. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. This is a must do. <laughs> oh my god! This is going to be in the vlog. Bop, bop. Okay. You didn't see that angle. <laughs> enough, enough of that. It was good. That was a lot of fun. It's a this great event. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh event. yeah, like oh, of all the media events I've been to, this is by far the best media event that I've been it's to. One of the only ones I've been to. So. Three rides on it. I kind of wish we got a little more, but they closed it a little. Yeah, early. they closed it's, it off. It's okay. We got three rides, better than but none. um, better, well, than, better than, none. than none at all. Yeah. Anyways, I wouldn't say it's the best ride here yet. I'm gonna hold judgment until it warms up and breaks in, and I get on everything else. Because I also have not ridden everything else here in three years. Great addition to the park. They deserve it. Oh, Great absolutely. theming. Amazing like lights as you dispatch. Has a really cool dispatch sequence. Yeah, it definitely met my expectations, and I'm just so happy that the Dorney Park finally got a brand new coaster. And they took so they definitely deserve long. It. Anyhow, oh yeah, Great so ride. I will definitely be back at this park quite a few times this year. Me too. For this and definitely for Haunt too for that. Oh my um, god, haunt that Haunt Maze was insane. And the new restaurant, we tried some of the samples out there. It was fantastic. All right, uh, that will wrap the video up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next loop. Goodbye.